This isn't your standard survival monkey business. It's a good thing that I wasn't one of the chimp-like hominids that would become the bedrock for modern man. This new ambitious open world survival experiment, Ancestors Humankind Odyssey, proves that if that had been the case, we would today be living in a world where everyone had boneless limp spaghetti limbs to try and avoid the constant splintering of femurs, and everyone would be living on a berry-only diet because I took way too long to figure out you could hit a coconut with a rock. We only saw the very early parts of the game you're seeing here, but the aim is to evolve to early man, recognisably human, but still a bit fugly. At the start, you play as the chimp-like hominid, one of a clan that lives in a leafy green jungle that's also populated by large predators, other hominids, and eagles with a taste for hominid hamburgers. You have to make sure you eat, drink and sleep to stay alive, but your bigger goal is to evolve, something you do by learning new skills, experimenting in your environment and overcoming your natural fear of the unknown. When the character you're playing inevitably dies from a snake attack, a fall or straight up starvation, you will immediately transfer to another clan member. There's a catch though, because you can run out of clan members. If that happens, your lineage fails and it's game over. Luckily, with the right social skills, you can make more clan babies, increasing your numbers and the strength of your family. Studio co-founder and creative director Patrice Desolet, yes, the very same Patrice Desolet that created Assassin's Creed, says Ancestors isn't just difficult for the sake of being difficult. It's about challenging the player to think for themselves. You have to ask, can I smash this coconut with this rock without the game telling you that you can? Some people are going to hate this game, like raging, burning, from the very depths of their soul hate it. The world is big and bewildering, even to the most experienced of gamers. The tutorial style is best described as neglectful parent. And if you're only spending 80% of your time poisoned, disabled or starving, you're winning. This is a survival simulation, one built like an action game, and one of the most ambitious I've ever played. Not just in its scope, but in what it expects from the player. It needs you to rely on your own curiosity and initiative to progress, and it outright refuses to prompt you, meaning it would be very easy to spend the whole play session just roaming the jungle, picking up the odd stick, without ever actually achieving anything. But even that, says Patrice Desolet, is a valid tactic. Staying in your settlement with your clan, learning communication, grooming, building some beds and learning basic construction has its value too. To actually move forward in the game, your clan needs to evolve, and that happens when you grow new neurons. Anything you do, grooming a hairy pal, that's not a euphemism, or standing up, or using your sense of smell, can help you learn a new skill. Moving around the jungle will lead to increased motility, which will mean you'll be able to use both hands to carry objects, which means you can then smash the shit out of that coconut with a big rock. Patrice Desolet says, It's a game and there are limitations. I hope people don't think they get to build the pyramids. It's a finite world. Consider yourselves warned. The transformation of the usual skill tree into a crackling, growing representation of the human brain and the neural pathways we develop when we learn something new is a minor stroke of genius even if it takes a little bit of figuring out. For instance, you can only make new neurological pathways when you sleep, and carrying a baby clan member around with you, on your back, not like a handbag, will help you develop skills faster, because baby brains are like little skill sponges. Despite feeling a sense of bewilderment and uncertainty I haven't felt since my mum lost me in a department store when I was small, I was utterly immersed in my jungle life. Two hours flew by, without a list of objectives to grind through, you just become lost in the world. Ancestors The Humankind Honesty will get a digital release on PC via the Epic Store, Xbox One and PS4 and it will cost $39.99.